Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable frame generation for your games on your Steam Deck Steam OS, um, and it's for free. So in the past, I've actually done videos showing you how to install these FSR3 frame generation mods, either by Luke FC or by Pure Dark. They were paid mods. You had to join the creator's Patreon in order to activate them, uh, to download them. And I did get a lot of comments saying why are these mods um, behind a paywall, stuff like that. I do understand that. People did put a lot of work in it. But those who are waiting out for a free version, you're lucky. Now, now is the time. So I'll show you how to install this and where to download it later on in the video. But now let's just check it out. Let's see how it performs. And in today's video, I'm going to be using Hogwarts Legacy as the example game. I've already installed it. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how it does, um, what you're getting into, and then Later, I'm going to show you how to do it, how to install it back in desktop mode. Okay, so I'm booting up the game right now. If these are the videos you're looking for, please make sure you hit the thumbs up and, you know, share this video to your friends. Um, if you haven't subscribed, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. We talk a lot about gaming handouts, especially the Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion Go and the Nintendo Switch. We talk a lot about emulation, mods, cheats, trainers, stuff like that. So if that's your thing, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so... Here's Hogwarts Legacy, and if I go into settings, you can see I've got DLSS as the upscale type, which isn't normal, okay? Because I'm on the Steam Deck, it's an um, AMD APU, but I've since I've got the mod on, this is an option for me. So I'm going to select DLSS, and I'm going to keep it at um, ultra quality, because I'm on the Steam Deck. It's already very low resolution already, so uh, yeah, let's keep it at ultra quality and then here make sure frame generation it's on you can toggle this on now okay and then i turned off motion blur depth of field chromatic aberration film grain all that i turned it off it's up to you whether you want to turn those on or off um, and then for the graphic preset i kept it at recommended which is medium so now let's boot into the game and see how it performs yeah so remember this is a free mod anyone can do it it's free Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm really excited for the community about this. This mod was created by um, a team of people. Um, I'll, I'll talk about that later when I go into the website because I can't remember their names, obviously. Uh, but yeah, you can see uh, I'm getting like 60 frames, 50-ish, 60 frames here in the open world while flying around on my Hippogriff. Which is actually pretty cool. Which is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, let's go under the ground. No need to race down, my friend. There is, um, like, it does look a little bit weird now because I'm on a capture card. All right, and, you know, uh, the resolution is set to 720p. But uh, it looks really good on like handheld mode. So if you're actually playing this on your Steam Deck screen, it should look way better. Okay, so if I like turn off the frame generation. So if I go to my settings and I just select FSR 2. That automatically grays out the frame generation. And like this is what I'll be normally playing at. I've been normally playing at like 20 ish, 30 frames. So, yeah. I almost doubled my frame, my FPS, by using frame generation. So, yeah. So, I think you know what you're getting into. Now, let's go to desktop mode and I'll show you how all this is done. So, I'll see you back in desktop mode. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is you need to know where your game folder is. So for example, my game, Hogwarts Legacy, it's a Steam version. Um, I could just go and open up my Steam, right click on the game, go to manage, and then browse local files. So that's an easy way to locate my game folder. All right, it works for Steam version and non-Steam version. So if you've got a non-Steam version, you just know where your game folder is, right? And then inside here, it's not where we're going to put the mod files. We need to go deeper. We need to go into Phoenix and then binaries, Win64. Here's where we're going to put our mod files, okay? And then 
that content you need to do, go and download the mod. So I'll link it in the description. It's in Nexus Mods. It's called DLSS Enabler. Okay, so like I was saying, this mod is created by, you know, a few different developers. It's a joint effort. So if I can see the credits, yeah, it, it's by these guys. Okay, so shout out to you guys. Uh, there's a lot of them. I'm not going to like name them um, one by one, but um, these uh, people came together, made this mod for free. So a big shout out to you guys. Thank you for making a free mod. Okay, I know you spent time and effort and you're not getting any compensation for it. Uh, and you're just doing it for the community. Good on you. Okay, and then what you need to do once you're in this page, just go and download it. So files, and then I'm going to manual download this. Get the latest one, okay? It's an .exe file, okay? And then you've got this. Uh, you need to enable this. I'll show you how to do that later. Just click download. It's an .exe file, okay? So some people might be wary. Is it a virus or anything like that? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, do it at your own risk, okay? So I'm downloading the .exe. I've already downloaded it before, but I'm doing it again just for you guys. I did it four hours ago, but I'm doing it again for you guys. Okay, um, and then... So it's an exe and then the third step you need to do is you need to have proton tricks so if you don't have proton tricks go to your taskbar on the left bottom discover software center click on it okay and then in the search type proton tricks like this and you should see this red wine glass thing okay click on it and if you haven't installed it install it i've already got it installed so i'm good Okay, and then let's see if our download's done. Okay, it's done. This is the exe in our downloads folder. Okay, now I'm going to open up Proton Tricks. Okay, and then locate your game. Mine's right here, Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, double click it. And then wait for it. It feels like nothing's happening. It feels like, like the machine hanged, like it, it, it crashed or whatever. Nothing's happening, but it's actually loading up the prefix. So just be patient. Don't panic here. It's going to pop up anytime. Yep, here it is. And then first thing, select the default wine prefix. Click OK. And then here, run uninstaller. OK. And then we're going to click here, install. And then locate that exe. So it's in my downloads folder. And here, here it is. See the exe. Okay, double click the exe and then I'm going to agree. Next. And then you need to select where to install it. So we don't want to install here. We actually want to install it into our, our game folder. So this, this is the, the path. Dot local share. Yeah, that one. So, okay. Getting a bit lost here. Okay. So let's just turn this. Minimize this. Okay, browse for it. And then we're going to our Z drive. Z drive is my internal SSD. And then um, home, deck. Okay, I can't find it here. So maybe I can just paste it here. Hopefully I can. So let's copy this path. Copy. Oops. And then, yeah, paste. Enter. Next. You must enter full path. Okay. So I think we need to type Z drive. Next. Okay. So yeah, once again, make sure you type Z drive and then your you you paste your path. Okay. Z drive. So yeah, that's that's something a little bit tricky. And okay, next. And then uh, we're going to select install DLSS enabler, the version.dll file. And then we also want to enable support for AMD GPUs, okay? Because, you know, we're using the Steam Deck and it's an AMD GPU. All right, and that's it. Next, install. And then, yeah, we don't need to read the uh, readme file. Finish. Okay, and let's see. Okay, you can see here it's populated. It populated all this into our our game directory. All right. Now, what you need to do is uh, in your game directory, in your game directory for Hogwarts Legacy, go back to Hogwarts Legacy, click inside the engine folder. 
Okay, and then click inside the plugins folder, runtime, NVIDIA, DLSS, binaries, third party, Win64. Okay, that's a pretty long one. Yeah, make sure you go inside this folder and you've got this file. Okay, we're just going to copy it. Going to copy it and maybe just paste it on your desktop. Okay, so um, can I paste it? Okay, paste one file. Okay, so I pasted this file. Okay, and then go back to your Hogwarts Legacy folder. Phoenix, Binaries, Win64. This is the file where we put all our mods. See this file? We want to replace this one to this one. So copy. Oops. Copy this name. So underscore NVNGX. So I'm going to rename this. To this. Underscore NVNGX dot DLL. And then I'm just going to move it over. I'm going to move it over here. Move. I'm going to override it because there's already a file called this over here. So just override it. Okay. Okay. And then one more step. It's... um. Inside these files, there's a file called disable NVIDIA signature checks dot reg. Okay. So copy this, copy this file, paste it in your desktop. Okay. Because if you've still got your um, Proton tricks open, like I have, we're going to run wine config. If you already closed it, it's okay. Go open up Proton tricks again. Uh, for your game, Hogwarts Legacy, and then here, run wine. No, no, run reg edit. Click run reg edit. Okay, and then here, registry, import registry file. Go to desktop. So it's desktop, and I copied over that file. Remember, disable NVIDIA signature checks. Just double click it, and then it should say the keys and values contained in blah, blah, blah were successfully added to the registry. Click OK, and then you're done. You're done, done, and then you can go back to your game. So go to your um, Steam, go to your game, click on the gear icon, properties, and here in the launch options, make sure you add this. Wine DLL overrides equals quotation marks version, comma, DXGI equals N comma B quotation marks and then space percentage command percentage. Okay, I'll leave this in the like I'll I'll put this in the description. You can copy and paste it if you want. Okay, and then you can just test out your game. Click play. Okay, so like I was saying, this uh mod does support other games that have like um DirectX 12 support and has DLSS. Um, 2 or DLSS 3 uh, natively okay and some games were tested already so you can see here these are the games tested so far uh, and I think more and more games will be tested uh, maybe I'll, I'll do other videos on these games as well okay so now let's just test the game in desktop mode make sure it works so click play And just wait for it to boot up. Okay, the game's loading. Great. And it works both in desktop mode and gaming mode. Some people say like they do it and then it works in desktop mode and not in gaming mode. I, I think I already proved gaming mode works because that was the first part of the video. So I'm not going to show it again on gaming mode. But yeah, here's the game and then... You go to settings, you can see upscale type. I can select DLSS, ultra quality, frame generation on. Yeah, everything's working great. So yeah, that's how you do it, guys, uh, for free. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy that uh, we've, we've finally got a free um, frame generation mod. Uh, I think a lot of people in the community were waiting for this one. So, all right, let me know in the comments if you have any issues, any any questions. Um, and also, uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up and like this video because it really helps out the channel. 
And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.